Corey Feldman's making some wild claims against shock rocker Marilyn Manson, who has already embattled in a number of legal fights with multiple accusers. But now Corey Feldman says that Marilyn Manson has been obsessed with him for years and has been fixated on sabotaging him, even going as far to say that Manson sabotaged his 2017 tour. Manson at this time has not responded to this, but all of the other claims against him Manson has denied. Back in 2021, Feldman said that Manson had a decades-long mental and emotional abuse on Feldman, he said, he has been obsessed with me for over two decades. He tweeted about problems on the 2017 tour, writing, the abuse this psycho hands out was known to me by the spies he sent into my life to ruin my tour, manipulate my tour through these false angels, including planting his tour bus driver, Wade, on my tour. This is where things get even more interesting. Feldman was asked in a new interview with Consequence of Sound about those claims he made against Manson in 2021. He says that Manson encouraged backup singers to work for him and purposefully sing off-key. He said, quote, they were purposefully singing off-key, playing wrong parts, doing stuff like that so we would get negative attention, get negative reviews, and then made all these terrible allegations after the tour ended, saying that we didn't feed them and we didn't pay them and they didn't shower. Just stupid stuff. He went on to add that he was even using Marilyn Manson's bus and his driver. He said, quote, the bus broke down 10 times. It happened to be Marilyn Manson's bus. And when I say happened to, I say that lightly. It happened to be Marilyn Manson's bus driver. And it happened to be Marilyn Manson's girlfriend that happened to be part of the band or one of the girlfriends. As Feldman would have it, they wrote, the musical vandalism even extended to the opening acts. He said, quote, they were doing things like calling venues ahead of time and putting very dark bands ahead of a pop group as the opener. When the interviewer pointed out that it was Feldman who made all of the hiring decisions for the tour, he admitted, quote, I was very sloppy. I put out an open Facebook post and said we were doing an open casting call for young females who were attractive and could play multiple instruments and that were willing to wear this ridiculous costume on stage because a lot of rock and roll girls don't really want to do that. If you were willing to wear wigs and a halo and willing to dress like an angel, you could come and audition. So we kind of left it open to anybody. And another thing we did was open our house up to people and let them stay there if they needed. So we were the perfect patsy. The interviewer then asked if the saboteurs achieved their goal. He said, yes, absolutely. The tour shut down. It wasn't necessarily because of them that it had shut down. It was because of the fact that the Me Too movement had started and there was all of this pressure on me to name names, all this stuff. And this was actually when I decided to kind of freeze everything and serve the higher good. Asked for why Manson would want to do this, Feldman isn't really sure. He said, quote, yes, he was heavily involved in trying to infiltrate that tour. I don't really know the reason. I can't tell you other than the fact that we just know that he was behind the scenes on a lot of stuff. Consequence of Sound reached out to representatives of Marilyn Manson for comment on this story. And as of now, they have not received a response back. But admittedly, Feldman here doesn't really give a reason as to why he thinks that Marilyn Manson would want to sabotage him. Let us know what you think in the comments down below. That's your latest update from Rockfeed. Be sure to click the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on future stories. Check out the recommended videos on your screen and visit rockfeed.net for more.